Hello friends, I'm Kim Passable, and today I have an experimental proof of concept. Today we are working on our monkey bike mini bike project. Behind me is the test rig. We're going to see what kind of PSI we can get from a small block Chevy oil pump. Take note that the settings on our DeWalt whole hog are 300 RPM and 1200 RPM. For this experiment, we'll be using the 1200 RPM setting. We'll use this combination vacuum fuel pressure gauge to try and get rough numbers of maximum boost. I've got a little T here and I've got the blow here so I can, I can kind of finger actuate. Now let's give it a, let's give it a whirl. So what have we learned? We can make pressure at a reasonable RPM without oil in the pump. It's good enough for me to proceed with the build. I'd like to run the engine at 3000 RPM with at least a doubler, maybe a tripler. We're gonna need to do more tests to see what our achievable CFM is, but I think at three times that, it's gonna give us something. Oh, what else are you doing? Stick around and watch, subscribe. This is the cheapest pump of this kind. For more money, I can get a high volume or a spiral geared uh, pump that may be able to achieve higher pressure at the same RPM. My plans are to put this on a four stroke 98 cc motor. Um, I am not going to make modifications to that motor before I put this on. So you'll be able to expect the same kind of results without a modified motor. If we pitch a rod, all we need to do is replace the stock $100 motor, a bolt on uh, forced induction system for a super small the project as it's currently conceived is to fit the rules and conditions of the No Name Nationals Monkey Bike Mini Bike Challenge. This means we need to use the stock clutch and gearing. This ought to be a blast. I don't know what's gonna happen, but it, it does that. You saw it, it, it pushes two PSI at 1200 RPM which is not much, but 1200 RPM is just, just about when the clutch is going to start to engage. So you don't really want a lot of boost at, at idle. Um, you want it to be picking up then, but I definitely don't want to do a, a one-to-one -one, uh, gear ratio to run this pump. I want to run this pump faster because I am fearful that I'm not going to be able to push enough CFM uh, to keep boost up. This little puppy is light. There's nothing to it. There's almost nothing to this little unit. It's a couple of pounds of cast iron. Uh, the rotors inside are some type of hardened steel. There's almost nothing to this little oil pump. The bottom plate incorporates the oil pump uh, pressure blow off valve. So it's set to like 50 PSI. We're never gonna, it's not gonna do anything. And it's a heavy portion of the casting. So we can throw that casting away and just use a flat piece of uh, plate steel. All we have to do is drill holes. There's no threading or anything like that. That will simplify and lighten this even further if we can get through proof of concept. And this is the type of project we want to do. I don't have a machine shop. I don't have anything fancy. And so with this, a cutoff wheel, we should be able to create a forced induction system that bolts onto a factory unmodified 98cc Coleman engine and adds five PSI of boost. Can we do it? Well, yeah. 
This is the cheapest thing I could get off of Amazon. It cost me $32 delivered to my home. Melling makes a high volume version. The, this is the small block version. The big block version has 12 impellers instead of eight impellers. And it is supposed to produce more when used uh, for oil flow. I don't know is higher oil flow is going to translate to higher airflow. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope this has ignited your curiosity. Keep watching and tell your friends. Thank you for putting up with me, all my no-name national friends. I really am looking forward to seeing all your projects evolve. I'm subscribing to everyone I can see so that I have like the lay of the land and I'll know everyone's names and their vehicles when I get there. It's going to be a great time. See you then. If this fails, I do have a fallback plan that will also be boost, but I already know that the casting and construction um, plus the pulley system, it's much more oversized because it's off of a car. It'll be the weight of two of these and we it'll definitely work, no doubt. We'll be blowing off extra CFM, but this, this is what I want to work. Hello friends, I'm Kim Passable. I'm a transgender woman and we can do anything. Behind me is the test rig to see what kind of PSI we can get from a small block Chevy oil pump. The project as conceived is to create a forced induction system using a standard carb, a $40 oil pump, and a little bit of uh, plumbing to attach to a stock motor. Uh, to achieve maybe five or six pounds of boost. The design is essentially a gear drive roots blower, but it is intended for oil pressure and flow. No one has a CFM guess or a PSI rating without oil flowing through it. So we're gonna spin it up and find out. The other options that I've seen for blowers, roots blowers, or turbochargers are almost as big and heavy as the engine itself. It's insane. As far as turbochargers go, on the 212cc models, they barely spool up the turbo. The VZ21 um, and comparable type small engine turbos are made for a 400cc engine and the little 98cc is just not going to spool up our turbo the way it would need to. Not to mention the cost and weight, plus the added complexity of oiling and cooling. We just don't want to go there. This simplifies the entire thing. The only other pressure gauge we have is this, and I don't think that that range is going to be very helpful. 